Hello everyone. In this INR number 95, we are going to discuss about a very important topic, multiple endocrine neoplasia. Right? So what is multiple endocrine neoplasia? It is an autosomal dominant inherited disorders. Right? With tumors or excessive growth in two or more endocrine organ. Right? So basically it is an endocrinal lesion where it is autosomal dominant. They will have tumor and they will be having an increased growth in two or more endocrine gland. That is why the name is multiple endocrine neoplasia, right? So there are four types of men syndrome. So we are going to discuss one by one. So number one is men one syndrome, which is also called as Wormer syndrome. Remember it is Wormer syndrome, right? So what is men one syndrome? Remember it is three P. So what are three P? Parathyroid, pancreas and pituitary. And remember all three P's will be having tumor. So number one is having all tumor. So parathyroid is also tumor, parathyroid adenoma. Pancreas is also having tumor, pancreatic tumor, which is gastrinoma. And pituitary is also having tumor that is called as pituitary adenoma, right? So parathyroid adenoma, pituitary tumor, pituitary adenoma and pancreatic tumor, gastrinoma, right? So what is the genetics? As I said, these are all autosomal dominant. Mutation is MEN1 gene and protein is MEN1. So these are tumor suppressor gene. Chromosome number is 11 long arm, right? So MEN1 gene or MENIN protein and chromosome is 11 long arm. So what are the lesion? As I told, already told you, parathyroid, pancreas, pituitary, all tumor. Parathyroid adenoma, pancreas, gastrinoma, pituitary adenoma. So this is MEN1, right? What is MEN2? MEN2A is called as Sippel syndrome. Remember, this is another name, Sippel syndrome. Here also you will see three Ps, right? So here also you will see two P, parathyroid, puchromocytoma, right? So here you are seeing parathyroid, but here it is not tumor. In men one, it was parathyroid adenoma. Here, parathyroid hyperplasia. In men 2A, Sippel syndrome, you will see that adrenal will be having tumor and that is called as pheochromocytoma, right? Pheochromocytoma and they will also have a tumor in thyroid and that is medullary carcinoma of thyroid right where you can see amyloid stroma right so what is men 2a two p's so men 2a they will be having two p's so this is the mnemonic two p and one m right so what are two p parathyroid hyperplasia pheochromocytoma and medullary carcinoma of thyroid so what is genetics already i have told you autosomal dominant here it is very important to remember that men 2a they have association with red proto-oncogene mutation, which is also associated with medullary carcinoma of thyroid, right? So this is red proto-oncogene on chromosome number 10 long arm, right? So lesion already I've told you, parathyroid hyperplasia, pheochromocytoma and medullary carcinoma of thyroid. Third one is called as MEN3. Remember the older thing was MEN2B. So now it is called as MEN3. MEN3 is also called as multiple mucosal neuroma syndrome. Remember the name multiple mucosal neuroma. Mucosal neuromas will be there. You can see there are mucosal neuromas in this condition. So what is important here? They are meant to be in the older. Now it is called as MEN3. So what are these things? We are, we are having medullary thyroid cancer just like a men to be men to a right medullary thyroid cancer just like men to a pheochromocytoma so now you can see that why it is called as men to be earlier because they are having two common things medullary thyroid cancer and pheochromocytoma so what are the new things we have to understand whenever examiner will say that mucosal neuromas so now you can see tongues are having mucosal neuromas and patient will be having marfanoid body habitus pectus excavatum or arachnodactyly or dilatation of aorta like a Marfan syndrome. So Marfanoid body habitus. So mucosal neuroma, Marfanoid habitus, see M for mucosal, M for Marfanoid and M for three. Right. If you if you turn this it looks like three. So that is the mnemonic kind of thing. Right. So men three will be having mucosal and Marfanoid habitus along with men two a medullary cancer and pheochromocytoma. So genetics, they are having same thing. They have red proto-oncogene chromosome number 10. So medullary cancer, pheochromocytoma like a men 2 a And what are the new things? Mucosal neuromas and marfanoid habitus. So in men 4 syndrome, 
this is the new entity which has been added so likely to be asked in our exam so please remember this we have to remember men force in rome they have just like a men one remember just like a men one when we read in a textbook it will be written just like a men one why like, like a men one parathyroid adenoma pituitary adenoma you understand men one will be all p all p is our tumor so parathyroid adenoma pituitary adenoma and what is additional here they will be having reproductive organ tumors like a testicular cancer ovarian cancer and they will also have a neuroendocrine tumors in multiple organs multiple organs means esophagus lungs pancreas gastric and you know neuroendocrine tumor midgut hindgut so many uh, you know multiple neuroendocrine tumors can be seen here so parathyroid adenoma pituitary adenoma reproductive organ tumor neuroendocrine tumor these are all four important points in the men four syndrome so what is genetics autosomal dominant cdk and 1b which is also called as p27 right so cdk1 cdk and 1b or p27 chromosome location is 12 short arm right 12p or 12 short arm and what are the lesion as i told you just like a men one parathyroid adenoma pituitary adenoma what are the different thing reproductive organ tumors and neuroendocrine tumors into the multiple organs so whatever i had explained you this is given in the table also so i will just sum it up quickly right so what is men one syndrome wormer right you remember that p p p all are tumor adenoma gastrinoma adenoma right men 2a men 2a is simple syndrome so in this you will have 2p and 1m so what is parathyroid it is not tumor it is hyperplasia and pheochromocytoma and medullary carcinoma of thyroid so they are having red proto oncogene on 10 see this men 2a men 2b they have same red proto oncogene on chromosome number 10 long arm right so like that we can remember men 1 is having men 1 or menin tumor suppressor gene which is chromosome number 11 right men 3 is a multiple mucosal neuroma mucosal neuroma you remember that image and they will be having medullary carcinoma of thyroid and pheochromocytoma just like a men 2a right what is the difference mucosal neuromas and morphinoid body habitus men 4 is just like a men 1 you remember men 1 why because of parathyroid adenoma and pituitary adenoma parathyroid adenoma pituitary adenoma just like a men 1 but what is the difference difference is reproductive organ tumor and neuroendocrine tumor in multiple organs and their location is cdk and 1b and p27 gene mutation on chromosome 12p so remember men 4 is on chromosome number 12 short arm so these are important point about the men syndrome revise this topic you may get question in your exam best wishes to all of you